Well, we got ourselves a hero truck. What's going on, everybody? Today we got a uh, 2018 Silverado with the uh, Duramax uh, diesel truck. And uh, customer concern is that this message right here shows up. But if you notice, there's no check engine light. It should be right here. But that shows up. And it is in reduced power when you drive it. Um, they, apparently they can't figure out what's wrong with it. So, we got our scan tool here. We're just going to do a, uh, a smart scan on it. Look at that. No codes in the ECM. Hmm. Very interesting. We'll let this finish up. Do have one in the EBCM, and if I remember right, there was like some tire pressure sensor codes or something like that in the BCM. Okay, so we're done. We've got three codes set in the whole truck, but yeah, we got reduced engine power. And if we look at the EBCM. It says powertrain control module indicated trash control. <laughs> it's a strange code. And then like I said, we got some tire pressure codes. So we're in reduced engine power, but the ECM has no codes. Let's just go into this thing, double check, make sure there's not something weird. No codes. I even verified with a different scan tool that this isn't a scan tool issue. There is no codes in this. And uh, I'll show you why. There's a whole lot of stuff missing. If you're not familiar with these diesels, things shouldn't be unplugged. There's a whole section of stuff gone. Hero truck. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is safe to say whatever is setting the code, somebody's just deleted that code from the computer when they tuned it for some stupid reason. So uh, I'll see uh, about fixing that, but anyways, I know they won't leave it tuned, they won't leave it deleted, that's whatever, but I gotta fix the truck. So <sighs> GM does do something pretty good. If we go into read data stream, there's a few places you can find this, but I know it's in the uh, fuel system data you can find the uh, history for the reduced engine power. So you can see right here, reduced engine power history. So let's click OK. Let's see what, what the ECM is fussing about. High pressure fuel system malfunction. OK, so this doesn't tell me exactly what's wrong with it or anything. It just kind of gives me an idea of where to look at. So let's just select all of these high pressure code or high pressure data pids and just sort through them and see if we see anything odd. So five volt references all show five volts and okay. Uh, accelerator pedal is zero. Let's give it a little, little throttle snap. Okay. You see it come up just a little bit. I didn't press it that much. Um, Let's see, battery voltage, all that looks good. Barometric pressure, let's change that to PSI 14.5. That's pretty much where we're at right here. Um, let's see, desired fuel pressure, this is gonna be uh, low side, 61. 
So we got a low side pump and a high side pump. So the desired is there. Let's see, PSI. So desired fuel rail pressure right now is 4,800. Um, idle speed, I don't, this is kind of one of the things I don't like about this tool is having to change all these things. Uh, that'll be in the uh, review of this thing. Um, let's change that. So RPM matches desired. Fuel pressure regulator. There's two regulators, one on the pump, one on the rail. All that shows OK and is showing us duty cycle. Um, this is going to be the low pressure side, so 61. That's perfect where uh, the desired wants to be. And fuel rail pressure. So pressure sensor one says 48, 4900 which is right exactly where the computer wants it, where its desired is. And we get down here to fuel rail pressure sensor two, zero. Hmm. And let's change these to volts. Get it off that millivolt. So we see fuel rail pressure sensor one is reading 1.0 volts whereas pressure sensor 2 is stuck at 5 volts. Even if I give this thing some throttle, you can see sensor 1 reacts exactly like it should. Sensor 2 is not doing anything. So I think it's safe to say our issue is fuel rail pressure sensor 2. I'm also on all data here got the diagram pulled up for this fuel rail pressure sensor as you can see there's two pickups in the sensor so you've got 5v4 feeding in and then you've got the one ground or low reference and then each sensor is got a, a signal circuit the way this diagram is shown this is a, a pulled down sensor this sensor will pull voltage from 5 to ground because this is 5 volts right here and this resistor allows it to be pulled down and then basically like the resistor is holding it at 5 volts but when this pulls to ground this resistor makes it where the 5 volts isn't bleeding in so what's happening is the ECM here is reading the, the voltage drop or the voltage how it's being pulled down so what's wrong with the truck we've got two sensors built into one that share a 5 volt and ground we've got one sensor that reads perfectly fine one sensor that's stuck at 5 volts there's only two things that can be wrong with this two things the sensor is bad or the wire is open, it's got a break, and the sensor can't pull it down. Pull it down. Seems like a pretty easy problem to fix. <laughs> I don't know why this uh, truck has been all over. Probably because it doesn't set codes, and nobody can figure out what's wrong with it. So let's. Uh, I don't know which one of these. I don't know if this is one and this is two. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. I can check both of them pretty easily. So let me get a few things set up to where I can check these and uh, we'll figure out if it's going to be terminal 2 or terminal 4 that we don't have. I just want to show you a few things I've noticed. So this is regulator fuel pressure regulator on the rail and somebody's put a pigtail on it with these crappy butt connectors these are terrible they didn't heat shrink them that's, that's terrible and then our fuel pressure sensor 
is right down there. You can kind of see it's got white wires also. Let me see if I can get you around here to see this thing. You see the white wires and the butt connectors? Oh man, why do people do that? Just just solder the darn wires. Learn how to solder. Learn how to solder and heat shrink. It's really not that hard. And so much better than this. So we've got these butt connectors. They're at least heat shrunk on this side. Except for that. What is that? It's not even a butt connector. That's one of those stupid little butt connectors that has solder in it that melts that are terrible. That's terrible. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let's get this unplugged. Try to, anyway. It's probably broken or something. There we go. Alright. There we go. Got that undone. These things are even melting together. Like, because everything is getting so hot under here, it's melting together. The butt connectors are melted together. Whatever. All right, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna figure out what these are. All right, so on our scan tool, we see that with the sensor unplugged here, a rail pressure one sensor is at five volts and it says it's 36,000 psi that is the max it can read okay and, and then sensor two is five volts and it is zero so what's happening with the sensor is in the median they'll be equal okay when they are unplugged one reads low one reads high and then when you apply voltage or the the sensor itself gets applied voltage kind of brings them opposite of each other they're they're inverse from each other so one sensor the voltage reading is probably going positive one sensor is going or not positive but going up and one's going down so I know that my um, I'm pretty sure it was brown and red wire right here is the uh, power feed so that is in pin one and then this black and yellow black and green pretty sure is the ground wire and the two blues here are uh, the uh, signal wires so are they in the correct spots first off let's look at the diagram again all right so on the diagram here brown and red is is pin one okay and then black and green should be pin three pin two should be brown and yellow and blue and white is in four okay so black and green should be black and green is in pin three and brown and red pin one so is that what we've got down here okay just bear with me my microphone died so i might have to mess with the audio on this one a little bit so we've got brown and red is in one Okay, and then two should be brown and yellow. So that's what this one is. This is brown and yellow, and it is in two. 
Mm. I guess that's a green. Yeah, that's black and green. Black and green is in three, and blue and white in four. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So, on our scan tool here, we want to pay attention to sensor the voltage for sensor one and sensor two. So I'm going to take this my test light here. Um, I'm using the half amp filament. Doesn't really matter. Don't even have to use a test light, but I just like to. I'm going to go from terminal three, which is ground, into either one of them, either two or four. So we'll go into two first. Okay. Fuel rail pressure sensor two voltage changed to zero. There's five. There's zero. Okay. And we'll go to one. See how it's gone to zero? And five. So, we know that terminal 2 is fuel pressure sensor 2, and it is actually good to the computer. Our computer, our, our computer reacts to it, so we know that this wire has continuity all the way to the PCM, or at least it does now that I've messed with it. So let's try to plug this thing back up and uh, see if our readings are good now fuel rail pressure sensor two four and a half volts we got a shitty connection on that connector like that's it i wiggled it messed with it and now it works so I will be cutting those buck connectors out, soldering all that back together, and we're gonna reevaluate this. Oop, starting to rain on me. I got the one wire done, uh, and I got it plugged up, and just checking it with the scan tool, and it seems to be working just fine. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see about if he'll let me get these codes working again in the tune or not whatever I mean this could have saved somebody a lot of hassle if they had the code setting for <laughs> fuel rail pressure sensor 2 open circuit you know or performance or whatever would have saved somebody some time but uh I'm not really sure uh, if I should clear the codes <laughs> or, or what let's uh Let's go out here to uh, the e EBCM and uh, we'll clear that code, see if that comes back. Uh, let's just do clear. I don't think it will because we're not showing reduced power anymore. Okay, it's got its history. It didn't clear because engine was running so let's go back out clear that again yes okay let's read that no DTC <laughs> display nothing nothing there so I think it's fixed <sighs> hate working on tuned and deleted trucks I, most of the time when people ask me to work on diesels I tell them no especially if it's tuned and deleted but this guy he's like I'll pay you whatever so I, I'm somebody's willing to pay me my time okay so luckily we was able to figure it out and not spend too much time on it so hope you guys enjoyed this one we'll see you guys later for uh, a little extra confirmation 
this reduced engine power history, it did say uh, high pressure fuel system still until I went into ECM, clear codes, and then checked it again. Now it says none. So I guess it's still setting something in the ECM code wise to keep that flagged. Uh, but do a code clear and there it is, it's gone. So everything's working fine. Everything's doing like it should. So that's it.